Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about It's Such a Beautiful Day from 2012. Don Hertzfeld is uh, someone whose shorts I've enjoyed for a long time, and they have sort of a very surreal, very kind of real, crude, and strange kind of shorts. And I've liked, like, rejected especially, but this film is kind of on a whole other level for me with him. Where it's a lot about life and your own mortality and the ultimate existential crisis of what any of it means. While the protagonist of this film, Bill, is going through a medical crisis, which we presume to be possibly brain cancer, we do know involves strokes, has problems with his memory and understanding things, and problems with his consciousness. And it kind of opens you up as an audience member to kind of think about your own life and the finite thing about it and everything maybe that you have wanted to accomplish or anything like that. And it's a weird, strange movie that probably hits harder and scarier than probably I can think of very many films can do. And uh, it really shows the power of Don Hertzfeld as a filmmaker because Maybe sometimes when I was watching some of these images, I thought they were, you know, good and interesting and surreal. But then when I thought about them afterwards, I was really kind of just looking out the window, thinking about life in a way that I don't see a lot of other movies doing. And this is kind of an intense experience, and I don't know if I'm fully over it while shooting this review. It takes you aback because you think of the scariness of everything and how things change and life's finite possibilities and how I think it's such a beautiful day both makes you acknowledge how amazing life is and how amazing it is to be alive and to be able to experience these things while also realizing the banality of life the boringness of life, the ambiguity, the ambivalence of life, the apathy of life. And it kind of sort of gives you a full picture, but you're sort of just stuck within this guy's consciousness as this narrator describes things and how, you know, Bill, our protagonist, isn't a perfect person, not coming from a great family and having a sad life, but also, you know, having a life and how glorious that sort of is. It's strange and weird, but it's almost like it's strange and weird because, you know, life has all those things, you know. Certain things you think about that day or that moment aren't things you think about every day in the way you think about them. Sometimes you'll look back on a memory and go, why was I wearing that blue shirt in sixth grade? And you'll think about that day and how hard that was. And then you'll go, fuck that blue shirt. And this film was just an insane experience and kind of the kind of dense, kind of weird filmmaking that you want from an art movie. This might be one of the greatest art films of the 20th century and definitely the decade because there's a lot in there and I think there's a lot of meaning uh, and there's a lot of symbolism, but it's also very literal. And that's a really hard thing to do at the same time, but I think Hertzfeld's style works within that. And animation has a, a long history of being surreal in both mainstream and art film circles, but I don't think any uh, live action film can do literal and surreal at the same time as perfectly as animation. And I think Hertzfeld does it in a way that very few animators have ever been able to do that. I don't know if this is based on something from his real life. I really couldn't find if that were true. I wouldn't be surprised, but it almost speaks so universally in a way. You know, the idea of having family members by your side or hanging out with an ex-girlfriend, almost forgetting why you broke up because of the nonsense of the day or why you had a fight or something is, is such a real feeling. You know, there's certain an immediacy to it that feels very real to me, but also the scariness of maybe not knowing fully who you are, but do you ever really know fully who you are? And I think It's Such a Beautiful Day taps into the whole idea of that. It, you know, being trapped in your own consciousness, but also there's a part where it leaves that. It leaves that and you see, you know, which is a, a real medical thing. If you have a stroke, sometimes you'll be awoken outside of your own perspective and see life more beautiful than you ever saw it before. And that can be a really overwhelming experience. And this film honestly was an overwhelming experience. It kind of made me think about so much. And I almost feel like when I was, a, a, you know, earth shatteringly awoken from this kind of a film, it's definitely a great piece. And I honestly saw it because 
I've been told to see it before and I, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. And, and, and I kept hearing it's this great movie and I definitely walked away going like, oh shit, I definitely think it is one of the great animated movies. Um, this was originally three different shorts, which this is cut up into three chapters. I don't know if he like cut things out to fit into a feature hour long film. This film's about an hour, so it's not even that long. Although it feels so dense and life into it, it almost and also the existentialism it pushed me into, I think, just as long as the movie. But it, the first installment is Everything Will Be Okay. The second short is I'm So Proud of You. And the third and final one is uh, It's Such a Beautiful Day, which the movie would share this title with. And uh, they were all kind of very well-received shorts, but um, I, I don't know what it's like to see. I guess they would, I, you know what's funny is even though I knew it was three shorts, I was so into it, I really wasn't thinking about what each of these would be like individually. Although I sort of remember, I think I saw the first one as a short a long time ago. It seemed very familiar. It works so seamlessly as a whole kind of narrative sort of thing. Didn't really think of it as a viewer, to be honest, um, but that's where it came from. It is so well regarded, and I guess after seeing it, I definitely get that, and think of this as definitely like a real masterpiece of animation, even though he's using like stick figures and like these weird shapes and having these like images and sounds come up on you and things like that, but I always felt it very purposeful because when these loud sounds are coming up, he's getting bad news from the doctor, like something horrible is happening, he's just had a stroke, you know, he's confused, he's not sure of certain things, his memory's weird, things like that, like it was very purposeful, even if it is kind of mysterious and like well why is this happening kind of a thing so it to me made a lot of sense in its surrealism in fact i think surrealism works best if there's some sort of a point to it but you can kind of wander within that and i felt like what he was doing with his surrealism is saying something about something that almost doesn't have an explanation and maybe as well life doesn't really necessarily have an explanation but we just sort of have to live it anyway and deal with the finite nature of it and even has a great portion towards the end where it's kind of going on what would eternal life really be like and how that doesn't feel like life it feels like doesn't feel like living and i don't think there's a better way to describe it's such a beautiful day than its title because you have a beautiful day and then it passes and then life moves on and life moves on whether you're here or not and you kind of just have to enjoy what you have while you're doing it but also examine the banality of it going to your dumb job dealing with your ex that you don't like as much or you did like and you just want to hang out with to be near someone and you you just look at it's such a beautiful day and wonder the beautifulness of life the sadness and the apathy of it all but also think how wonderful it is to mean anything to you so if you've seen it's such a beautiful day and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to